Hey, what up? My name is Solomon. I thought about making this video about how to start in Hearthstone. Now, the new expansion is going to come out soon, and some of you guys are returning players, some of you guys are new players, and would like to have something like an introduction guide, a beginner's guide to Hearthstone. And because there aren't really that many articles out there, or like guides on YouTube, I found like three, maybe this will help you. We will go over all the things you should do in the beginning, some general explanations, how to get the maximum dust and quest and gold and all those item things in, in the game. Yep, will be awesome. In case you just want to skip around, down here there should be like a timeline that shows you exactly when what happens. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I didn't point out, I will add that to the pinned comment down below. All links to resources and stuff like that are also in the pinned comment as well as down in the description. A link to our Discord, which has almost 8,000 members. Maybe you want to join. Now, without f further ado, let's actually do the, the video. After you created your account and log into Hearthstone for the first time, you'll be thrown into the tutorial which you cannot skip. You will learn the basics of the game in these 15 minutes and you have to go through this even if you already know how to play. Open your first pack and move on to the Demon Hunter Prologue in the Ashes of Outland Adventure tab. Just play through this real quick to get 100 gold and unlock the Demon Hunter class. Next, you head over to the shop either on Battle.net, online or in your launcher and claim the free adventures, Cobalt's and Catacombs as well as Knights of the Frozen Throne. In the Frozen Throne Prologue, you will play one game and receive a random Death Knight hero which after all is a legendary and can be disenchanted for 400 dust. In the shop, you can also get an alternate hero for the priest class for free. All we do now is follow the quests we receive, which are all about playing the game against the innkeeper. Choose your demon hunter deck and get those Ws. Here's a quick tip. If a quest reads, play a game in a specific mode, you don't actually need to play. You can instantly concede and it will count toward the quest completion. If however your quest wants you to play with a certain class, the following needs to happen for it to count. Either your opponent loses the game, or your health needs to be 15 or lower in order for a concede to count. In April, Hearthstone introduced the new ranked system, which works in two ways. There are 40 ranks, called the Apprentice ranks, which you need to go through in order to receive around 26 classic packs and two packs from the recent expansions for free. I highly recommend you do that because it's literally free and you start off with the game, so you might as well play against other people who are new. If you want to just go for Legend, you might be a returning play on a new account. Click on the settings icon in the bottom right corner, select Miscellaneous and then click on Skip Apprentice ranks. You won't receive your 26 plus free packs, but you can already play and access ranked mode. After you restart the game, you will have the option to choose a free deck, which for whatever reason won't even be displayed. Just pick mage because you get a lot of cards that are actually useful, and if you don't want to play the class, you can just disenchant those cards. For example, if you just want to play Demon Hunter, which I do recommend, you just pick the mage class, disenchant all the cards in there so you have enough dust to craft Demon Hunter cards instead. Next, I want to play and win a game of Tavern Brawl. Every single week there's a different mini game mode, so to say, which is a tavern brawl and allows you to get a free classic pack when you win for the first time. Or that is one of the modes, there are quite a few other modes, so let me introduce you to them real quick. If you play ranked, you have the option between standard and wild. Standard means that you only have access to the most recent sets, pretty much the last year until now, while wild allows you to access every single set. I personally play wild because every single card I ever owned can be used in that mode. If you are a standard player, then next year in April, cards in your deck are going to become wild only. So you would need to craft cards again and spend money over and over and over. Then there's Arena, for which you pay 150 gold to enter and build a deck by draft picking. You either get 3 losses and your run is over, or you get up to 12 wins and get the highest rewards. All the rewards scale based on the amount of wins you get, and anything over 4 wins means you make a profit. You also have access to Battlegrounds, which is the newest mode introduced to Hearthstone. It is an auto-battler, which is totally free to play and at the moment the most popular mode in the game. Lastly, there are solo adventures and dungeon runs, which are NPC battles. They either need to be bought in the shop for real-life money, you cannot buy those using gold, or they are available for free. What might be quite good for the beginning are hidden quests that are in Hearthstone. Hidden meaning they will never be displayed. So here's a list of all the things you can get for free. You can get some gold, you can get some card bags, and that is pretty much it. The good thing is though, this is fairly free. You just need to know what to do. Now at the end, let me give you some tips that might come in handy. If you were to focus on a single class, which I do recommend for new players, then don't feel bad about disenchanting cards from other classes. For example, on my EU account, I only play Warlock. The other nine classes, whenever I get a card for those classes, I just disenchant it so I can craft my Warlock cards. Personally, I would focus on Demon Hunter right now as it is the newest class. You get most of the cards for free in the Prologue anyways. And most importantly, I don't think Blizzard would introduce a new class and wouldn't make it tier 1 for the next year and a half or so. So if you just go with Demon Hunter and play nothing else, just focus on that class, you will probably be Legend fairly easily. Now if you search for decks online because you don't know what to play, either go with HS Replay or this side, as you can exactly see how good a certain deck is. When you want to play a different deck and you're missing certain cards, don't start by crafting the legendaries. Craft all the commons and rares first, then epics, then legendaries. With that being said, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or on our Discord. Links to everything are down below, and don't forget, over 52% of you guys are not subscribed. Well, take care.